Humans want to live as long as they can. And there's one researcher in general who is a computer scientist and a biotech researcher named Alex Zoronikov. He's worked in his field for almost 20 years now. He's only 38, so that means he started this pretty hmm. young. Uh, but he had an idea when, in his earlier career that we could extend the human lifespan mm -hmm. to 150. Mm -hmm. Now that he's 38, you know, just getting on in years, just so old, uh, he's not. Uh, he's <laughs> thinking maybe that won't happen soon. Mm -hmm. Maybe we'll have to wait for the future for that one. Yeah. I love I love how some people are so successful at branding themselves. Mm -hmm. Where like this is the guy that thought that people should live longer. This is the guy other people thought of who, that before you. No, he's thought of the idea, but he's actively worked on it <laughs> as a computer like, scientist hey, and as a biotech alive. researcher. That's true. Okay. okay, we're all working on it, but okay. he has an interesting way of thinking of it because you know, at first as a teenager, he thought I'm just going to eat eat healthy foods, I'm going to do yoga, I'm going to live forever, but that's really not the way of doing it. I mean, if you think mm. about who it doesn't hurt, I guess the longest living woman in the world stopped smoking when she was over 100 and has never been on a diet. It's a good thing she stopped. So that's I better life. Sure, yeah, <laughs> yeah, she'll live to 150. Mm -hmm. But he was just thinking after that, what is the purpose of hard work, exercise, and life in general if you cannot continuously improve yourself and your environment around you? Um, so he believes that. Longevity, having a long life, should be a human right. That it should be democratized. That we have this I idea, like that idea that we can all live as long as we can mm -hmm. and get the most out of life as possible. And he hasn't. He, he there, there's a lot of different things that need to go into lengthening the human lifespan. Uh, I mean, we've talked about uh, telomere research before. Mm -hmm. We looked at uh, Scott and Mark Kelly. They are the twins who were astronauts. One was on the space station for mm -hmm. a long time. One was on Earth, they compared each other, they had different length telomeres, and they were thinking, oh, maybe this could help us research lifespan, but uh, Zarnikov really thinks that uh, telomeres, lengthening lifespans is maybe different than having a higher quality of life as yeah. you go on. Because we, at this point, people retire, I don't know, in their 60s or 70s. If they can. If, okay. they, if they're lucky, mm -hmm. because over time, we get tired, our bodies break down, our, our sometimes our minds break down, mm -hmm. and it's necessary. But part of why, how he's selling this, in a way, to different companies that could fund his research is like, if we do this, then people will be more productive and make more money in their lives, and we'll fix the economy, and we'll fix all of that's wrong with the housing market yeah. somehow. It depends on how healthy a 120 year old person is. Like if, if getting to 150 requires, like we develop all of the technology necessary to do it, but it does require a lot of medication and a lot of procedures, then staying, living to 150 could end up being an incredibly expensive proposition. Yeah, but he lamented a little bit about this uh, to futurism.com mm -hmm. saying it sucks that he had to go on the economic argument rather than the moral argument mm -hmm. that we should have as good of a time as we can or as productive of a time as we can as we are alive mm -hmm. and well. And I'm sure a lot of people can relate to watching an older relative decline mm -hmm. and how depressing that is. What if that didn't happen as quickly uh, as, it, yeah. as it does now? Yeah, I think with with, the, with government and with business to get it researched, I think focusing on the the, the, the money uh, issues, I think that's probably a good way to go. If you want people, if you want some sort of popular movement towards this, I think the moral argument is the one is the one to make. But to be fair, right now people are trying to make that argument that people have some sort of inherent right to live longer than fifty or fifty five years, um, which a lot of people don't seem to believe, which is why they're perfectly fine with them having no health care whatsoever. Which yeah, for so a lot of people, after you hit you know sixty or whatever, if you have no access to medicine whatsoever, you can't deal with any sort of medical emergency that comes up, and you're probably doing lingering damage to your body that's going to harm you later on. I mean, preventative medicine and things like that. Zavorikov did mention this. That mm -hmm. was this is a hard climate for lengthening the human lifespan, yes. working on human health, uh, arguing that we should be healthier and we should have longer lives and more productive lives, but. Mm -hmm. This needs to get more hype in order for him to get off the ground. I hope it does. If you like that clip, I think you're gonna love the TYT app. You can get it at tyt.com slash app, and there you can watch full episodes of Nerd Alert and on-demand clips. And it's not just Nerd Alert, it's every show on the TYT network. You can get it on your phone, to go, wherever you want. And if you enable push notifications, you'll be the first to see what's new and what's live.